Let's now consider a very common scenario for your work throughout the semester. Let's say you were given the lab exercises for programming and you actually try to complete part of it uh, at home on your own machine. And now I would like to show you how you can keep your uh, projects that you have done on your home machine in sync with the lab computer. So let's try to do that very quickly. Okay, so now at the moment, I'm actually on my uh, home computer. Let's say it's a Mac. So now you can see this is my desktop over here. Okay, and now I previously cloned my GitHub repository and then under which I got, uh, for example, let's say lab zero part one. And I have developed so many classes over here, okay? So all these classes are only stored locally at the moment. So what I need to do, I need to commit them locally to the GitHub repository and then push them to the web uh, server. And then I can uh, keep them in sync with the lab computer. That's kind of the workflow I want to show you quickly, okay? So now what I want to do is like this. So now this is uh, so far what I have done. Uh, in the previous tutorial videos, we have created this many classes, but so far we have not committed any one of them to the local repository. And also we, uh, let alone, we haven't really uh, pushed anything to the GitHub server. So make sure you do this, otherwise you wouldn't see them from the lab computer, okay? Let me for now close the Eclipse. For, uh, let me just for now close the Eclipse. And what I would like to do is as follows, okay? I will also open a command prompt or you can actually use GitHub desktop, it's up, up to you. So basically I want to commit everything that I have done so far and push them back to the web server. Let me show you from the command line. Okay, so let me open a terminal. You can also use the uh, GitHub desktop to actually do the commit and push. Uh, that's something that's already explained in another tutorial series for the GitHub tutorial. You can refer to it. Okay, what I, want, what I would like to do is, on the terminal, first of all, I want to make sure I go to the desktop. Okay, assuming that I store everything on the desktop. Okay, and then I'll go to that ECS 1021 lab workspace. Okay, and then I would like to do what, what we uh, showed you previously. We want to run a few commands over here. Okay, so what I would like to do is, I would like to, first of all, run the following. I would say at, oh, actually git at star. So I will, I will add everything uh, that I have changed into the change list locally. And then I want to uh, commit. So I can say git commit minus n with a message. And then I can say uh, examples developed by studying tutorial videos for uh, lab zero part one, for example, right? And then I can say commit. Okay, so everything has been committed. So now what I'd like to do finally is to push them onto the uh, uh, GitHub. Okay, so now let's recall what a command is. Okay, let's recall that very quickly. So what we like to do now is to actually, let me just cheat a little bit. Of course, you don't really memorize the command. So what we like to do, let me just type it out over here. You can say git push origin and master, okay? And then you do that. So now, if you do that, it's going to push everything into the GitHub account, okay? So now, on my machine, I'm gonna open up a web browser over here. Previously, before I try to do everything like add, commit, and push, before I did them, so if I simply refresh the browser previously, I would not I would only see hello world. That's all I would see be, uh, without the lab zero part one. But now, since I have done the push and commit, so I will simply refresh the browser. Uh, for example, control R. If you refresh the browser, now you can see lab zero part one, and under which you got source over here, and these are all the files, uh, all the work that you have developed for your uh, by following the tutorial series. Make sure you do this step before you go to the lab session and you're gonna show this to your TA uh, for grading, okay? So now let's say we're done with uh, my machine. So now assuming that now I arrive in the lab, okay? So now we are in the lab machine over here. So you can see that there's a lab desktop over here on the Williams Small Center. So what I would like to do now, first of all, I can also open a web browser. You can go applications, and then you can go under also internet and you'll find Firefox, okay? Open that and go to github.com, okay? Go to that URL, login, and then you can choose repository 
okay, for your particular account, your repositories, and go into, and make sure that's private, of course, make sure that's really private, is the SD21 lab workspace. And now we would like to clone to the uh, desktop on the lab computer. Click on that, and then you can click on this to copy the URL, okay? So let's minimize the uh, browser over here. Let's open up a terminal. The easiest way, you can right click on the desktop and then say open terminal, okay? So now if you say PWD, it shows you that it's indeed, uh, it's actually now in the home directory. So I want to go to the desktop. So I can say CD, tell that for home directory slash and then desktop. So this is something that's already covered in a separate tutorial list for GitHub. So refer to it if you have doubts. Okay, I go to desktop, if I say TPWD, so now I'm really on the desktop. So what I would like to do is to clone that particular uh, repository. So I would say git clone, and then I can simply paste that URL I just copied, and then enter. Okay, username. and then also the password. Okay, so now you can see that this particular folder has been stored, and especially you wanna see that lab zero part one is indeed included in the clone. Okay, it's really important simply because before I leave for the lab, I want, want to make sure on my home machine, I need to make sure I do that. I did add, commit and push, okay? And so everything will be in sync. So now this is the one, but let me show you one more thing. So now if I want to open up this particular project, let's say it's called lab zero part one, how would I do that? Of course, of course you do the same thing for all the future lab, for lab two, lab three, and etc. Every time you clone, you will see the folders over here, but now how do we show it on the Eclipse? Okay, let me show you. So to open Eclipse, you can definitely go under application. If you don't see it under favorite, in my case, I don't see it the easiest way. You can just go back, go back to the terminal. You can simply type Eclipse. Okay, and then ampersand, okay. If you run it, let's see Eclipse will be brought up. And now what we need to do is we want to make sure you choose uh, the workspace. Okay, so you want to make sure you browse and go under uh, desktop and choose this folder we, uh, which we just cloned from the uh, GitHub repository. And then you can say, okay. And we can say launch. Okay, now what we might expect to see is to see the uh, lab zero part one project to show up on the Eclipse workspace. Let's see if that's the case. Okay, you go for workbench. You can see that somehow project explorer is actually empty over here, right? So now let's see how we can do. Okay, and uh, what we can do, uh, you, can, you can go to window, show view, and then I want to see also package explorer. Okay, if I go for package explorer, it's actually the same. Okay, project explorer, package explorer, they're the same. So now project explorer over here is actually empty. So what we should do is we want to explicitly import the project you would like to show, we would like to work on. In this case, let's say lab zero part one. So I can go for, so watch the step carefully. File, import, and then under, uh, you can simply say Java, okay? Uh, maybe not Java. You wanna go under general and choose existing projects to workspace, okay? And then you say next, and now you can select root directory, okay? You can say browse, and then you go uh, for the path again. So you go under home and then desktop and then under ECS21 lab workspace and then you choose the folder for the project over here and then lab zero part one in this case and then you say okay. And then you can see that uh, it will import this particular project specifically. Of course you want to imp uh, import multiple ones, you just do it multiple times or choose multiple ones. And then you say finish. Okay, you can see that now this is the project that we have been working on uh, in the tutorial, in the previous tutorial videos on your home machine, maybe. Okay, that's how you actually keep uh, your project in the repository of GitHub, and you can keep them in sync with your home computer and also lab computer. Okay, make sure your exercise is workflow, so you wouldn't have any trouble with uh, of syncing uh, your projects between the machines.